Hello, everybody, especially our wonderful parishioners of the Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament here in downtown Sacramento. This is your pastor, Father Michael O'Reilly, uh, just preparing you for the beautiful day that we hope soon will arrive in the opening up our churches for the celebration of the Eucharist and no longer having private Mass here. So there are a few things uh, as we recognize the, the changes that are going to take place when those first Masses begin. So a reminder that, of course, social distancing is still completely in effect throughout our country as we all strive to maintain six-foot distance. So that will still be in place when we begin our Masses here. So the church will all be marked off so that you'll know where to sit and be in your proper space six feet apart. As well for those who are uh, not feeling well or anyone over the age of 65, the government still encourages you to please shelter in place. You are the most highly susceptible to uh, getting sick from this uh, virus and so we certainly don't want anybody to get sick from the celebration of the Eucharist when we gather together. As well, the obligation to attend Sunday Mass will still be suspended. So uh, if you're concerned about uh, not coming to Mass because of your health or your age, that's okay. Uh, the Church recognizes that and we want your health of your physical body to also be cared for. However, there may be a larger crowd because of our separation of six feet apart and so have issues trying to fit everybody into our Masses during the proper times. So because Sunday worship is not obligatory, you can also attend any of the daily Masses which are not as attended as part of your worship experience. So please consider attending Mass during the week as an option. Finally, of course, we want to make sure that you're wearing masks and, and protecting yourself on these levels um, and to continue to be uh, praying for the church and a quick end to the damage that this virus is causing our society and our own church. We appreciate your prayers and I'm looking so forward to seeing you all in the future. God bless you. The following video provides protocols as we prepare for the return of the celebration of public Masses. We are requiring everyone over the age of two years old to wear a mask that covers your mouth and nose. Please make sure to put on your mask prior to arriving at the cathedral and wear your mask throughout the Mass and while on the cathedral premises. As instructed by the diocese, the cathedral is required to participate in social distancing and contact tracing. When you arrive at the cathedral, please line up outside the center main doors and a volunteer will greet you. The volunteer will collect your information, offer you hand sanitizer, and escort you to your seat. To facilitate social distancing, we will be using every other pew and ask that you please sit on the X marked on the pew to maintain a safe distance while we worship together. As you enter the cathedral, the left side has been designated for individual seating, while the right side has been designated for household and family seating. Once you have been escorted to your seat by the volunteer, we ask that you remain in place until the Mass has concluded. Please note, the restrooms will not be opened. We encourage downloading a digital worship app such as iBrevery, Laudate, or Magnificat in order to allow you to follow along with the order of the Mass and readings on your mobile devices. Additionally, you may download our Cathedral Worship Aids from our website and Facebook. Holy Communion will be distributed to you directly in the pews. If you wish to receive Communion, please stand as the Eucharistic minister approaches you. Remove your mask and remain in your pew. It is encouraged that you receive Communion in the hand. If you would like to receive a blessing, you may indicate this by crossing your arms over your chest. Once Mass has concluded, a volunteer will guide you, 
pew by pew to the nearest exit. While we understand members of our parish family would like to pray in the cathedral after Mass, we respectfully request that you please vacate the church as directed by a volunteer to allow sufficient time to sanitize the cathedral before the beginning of the next Mass. As you exit the cathedral, please continue to be mindful of the social distancing guidelines currently in place. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video and preparing yourself for what will be a beautiful day when we open up our church for public mass. It's just a wonderful opportunity to remind us all to do our best to stay healthy and to pray and be healthy both physically, that's important, and especially spiritually. God bless you all and you're all in my prayers.